Hello friends, welcome to Technique. This is Nurmal here and in this video, we'll share some tips, tricks and features of the Realme UI on the Realme 6. So the same applies to the Realme 6 Pro as well. So in case you are having Realme 6 or the Realme 6 Pro, you can try out those features. So let's get started. So first step is swipe, uh, double swipe on the home screen. You get these options. Uh, it's widgets, wallpaper, FX. So these are self-explanatory. No, we are not going into that. So let's go to the settings here. So here you can see that there is an option to select the screen, uh, home screen mode. It can be either, either the app drawer, so that's what we have right now. Or if you want uh, the standard mode, that also can be done. That means multiple home screens devoid of an app drawer. And you can also go with the simple mode. So simple mode is basically an uh, option which uh, brings in larger icons and less clutter. That means it is kind of useful for people, uh, elderly people who find it difficult to navigate with the smaller icon size. You can go with the simple mode. So these are the options. Standard mode uh, is uh, without an app drawer and uh, drawer mode uh, is again with app drawer and there is also simple mode. So you can select this and apply. Now you can also customize the home screen layout. You can have 4x6 or 5x6 icons. So 4x6 is 4 icons um, uh, on uh, this side and then uh, 6 uh, uh, vertically. And you can see 5x6 we have 5 icons and uh, 6 vertically. So that's how it works. Then you can also double tap to lock the home screen. So that's another useful option if you just want to double tap on the home screen and then it will lock the display. So these are options available here in the uh, home screen and lock screen. You can also set the magazine style lock screen magazine. Uh, some random images can be shown in the lock screen. You can see here random initial image. Uh, then uh, you can see the other options as well for the lock screen magazine. Now next let's go to the acute uh, toggles. So here we can see that there is an edit option. So you can see that a lot of icons are available. Uh, again, in the ones available at the bottom are not uh, visible when you uh, use the cube toggle. So you can just uh, drag and rearrange them. So if you want particular icon to appear, say for example, if I wanted 100 more, just click and drag here. You can see that now it's available in uh, uh, the regular option. So that's another useful feature uh, if you want um, uh, to customize the cube toggles. Now next, let's go to the settings panel. So in settings panel, uh, if you see the uh, display settings, so display settings, you can see that there is a dark mode available. So basically dark mode is system wide. You can see that now I've enabled dark mode. You can see all the uh, apps and other features which support dark mode will be available in dark mode. You can see the notification toggles are also in the dark mode. So that's another uh, feature which uh, will save some battery. So then there is IK mode. This uh, is basically the blue light filter. Uh, this will help uh, in reading uh, during night uh, with uh, less strain on your eyes. Then uh, there is screen refresh rate. So this is one important thing because this device supports 90 hertz refresh rate. You can see that there is an option to automatically select the refresh rate based on the app usage or you can go with a 90 hertz. So this is the 90 hertz refresh rate. It will be much smoother than the 60 hertz. But remember 90 hertz will take up a more battery. So if your battery is draining a lot, then it's better to go with the 60 hertz or you can go with auto select option, which means based on the app, it will select. Then the screen color temperature can also be set. You can see the default color temperature. If you want warmer tones, you can go with warmer tones. Or if you like uh, a bit more cooler tones, you can see this is the option available. So that's the uh, options available in the screen. You can change the screen, I um, mean the display font size and uh, other options are also included here. So next let's go to the smart services. So we have smart driving mode. So this basically you can see that when you turn on the smart driving, uh, your phone uh, Bluetooth will be turned on and it will be connected to the Bluetooth uh, car kits and you can add smart driving to quick settings for easy access. If you want it to be uh, enabled uh, quickly, you can do that. And uh, there is also do not disturb driving. Uh, you can uh, select uh, from which all uh, uh, senders, I mean, which all contacts you want the calls to appear, and uh, you can also auto switch to speaker for incoming calls. So these things are available. This is this uh, options will actually allow you to do uh, better in terms of driving without getting disturbed. So similarly, there is a riding mode uh, which is available uh, when you are driving, uh, riding a motorcycle. So these are options in the smart services. Now with in con convenience tool, so we have uh, the option to customize the navigational button. So right now we have the virtual buttons. So if you want a swipe from both sides, you can see that this is a swipe from both sides. Both sides you can use uh, for navigation. 
so back to home screen recents apps so these things can be done using the navigation on either side you can also pull down to enter one handed mode so those things are included here so that's the navigation gesture option then otherwise i can also go with the swipe gestures the regular swipe gestures bottom uh, swiping uh, for um, uh, multitasking to go home uh, all those things are included so this is another option and if you're refusing virtual buttons you can customize virtual buttons with back and multitasking on either side so that option is also included here then assistive ball is something which is quite handy you can see that it brings in a small ball uh, in the screen which can be used for navigation or it can also be used uh, differently you can see that the gesture operation is what the assistive ball does now or you can go with uh, the tap menu you can see that a lot of options are there locking screen screenshot then uh, multitasking home button so these things can be either configured here either you can go with gesture motions uh, that is tap uh, to go back uh, double tap for multitasking touch and hold for home screen so let's just show you that so uh, double tap uh, is multitasking you can see that touch and hold is home screen so these things can be uh, customized here uh, in the this assistive board so whichever you want you can go with that option then there is a smart sidebar option so smart sidebar uh, what it does is we have this enabled so just swipe here you can see these are the smart sidebar options so you can access them quickly here you can see that you can edit them and if you want particular uh, you can just drag and here you can see that uh, it brings in uh, the option here so that's the option now available in um, the uh, smart sidebar so you can enable smart sidebar and customize it which you, which way you want and uh, there is also gestures and motion support so screen of gestures are included you can say double tap to turn uh, the screen on draw O to enable the camera draw v for flashlight music control so these are the screen of gestures available so this is self-explanatory if you enable double tap to turn on the screen uh, if the screen is turned off you can just double tap on the display and that will turn on the uh, display so these are options uh, these are self-explanatory actually then a three finger screenshot is there so if we just uh, swipe uh, with the three fingers so you can see that uh, now it will take a screenshot so this is a three finger screenshot so you can see that now i have taken a screenshot though so that's another useful feature for taking a screenshot then if you go to the additional settings so here also we have some option that is screen recording so you can do screen recording this can be toggled directly from here you can see there is an option uh, to toggle screen recording and you can set uh, the video resolution uh, for screen recording 720p or uh, 1080p or if you want lower, uh, lower resolution you can also do with that you can record the system sound record microphone sound so whichever way you want you can do that you can uh, turn the front camera uh, to record video at the same time so a lot of things can be done uh, here with the screen recording so this is a very useful feature if you want to make tutorials uh, this is uh, a really useful option available so that's the uh, screen recording option then uh, we have the uh, app cloner so app cloner basically uh, create multiple instance or dual instance of their app so these are apps that support right now you can uh, ad additionally install other apps which supports dual uh, or uh, dual app or app cloner so mostly this is useful for social networking apps you can add uh, two instance of the same app uh, with uh, two different accounts then there is also game space which is uh, quite useful if you want to get the best gaming experience you should be enabling the game space then there is split screen mode so split screen is just swipe uh, with the uh, three fingers to the top and you can enable the uh, split screen mode so again this is the split screen mode and uh, you can see that now uh, two uh, screens are available so this is the split screen and if i open a particular app for example file manager uh, you can uh, see that uh, this uh, this split screen uh, enables uh, you to have a uh, uh, dual window here so this is a split screen option available and you can see that now i am uh, using uh, one window here you can just increase or decrease the split screen size here so that's another feature available so you can if you don't want split screen you can just, just swipe up and uh, this will go off so that's another useful option here in the split screen mode then there is also one handed mode so you can just toggle one handed mode from here so you, you can see that there is a one handed mode uh, you can have this icon uh, anywhere here so this is how the one handed mode, mode works then there is another option called focus mode so focus mode basically what it does is uh, a pause distracting apps when you need time to focus so some apps uh, will be distracting so for example if you get uh, notifications from facebook uh, twitter or whatsapp
access and uh, what time uh, that uh, access will be available so those can be done here you can see that uh, uh, duration allowed each time apps allowed you can select is available then private safe is there so private safe is again something which is similar to the uh, uh, app lock you can see that uh, this is a area where you can add your phone